the king is about to make another mistake. Tomorrow, Prince William, leaving his princess recovering from a mysterious operation under the care of nannies and doctors, will put on a black suit, bow tie and head to the Albert Hall as president of BFTA for the ceremony of awarding the prize in the field of cinema and television, the British equivalent of the Oscar. This decision was made by the heir to the throne after Harry began a campaign to return the prodigal son. Insiders claim that the prince, together with Meghan, discussed this with Charles in an interview and several emails. Apparently, this is not so much a matter of nobility as a clear instruction from the PR people. Without news, leaks from the royal family and public appearances with them, the value of the Sussexes tends to zero. It became known that after the detection of cancer, Charles, also known as Carl I.I., visits Windsor for one night before returning to Sandringham from a London clinic. Alone with William, they have long and serious conversations. Insiders do not disclose details, but most likely the situation with the Sussexes and their turn from toxicity to more restrained positions is discussed. It is rumored that every time William refuses to accept the plans of the king and father, he carefully follows the statements of Harry, starting from happy leaving the aquarium and the racist royal family to statements of love for the family. Amazing transformation. They both care about the family, but why then can't they reconcile with the sick old man Thomas Markle, Meghan's father, who suffered three strokes and became disabled, living not far away? The Sussexes need to be perceived as members of a rich, influential and famous family. So they started rebranding, updating the brand name and website, as well as introducing a new office policy. They have become not only toxic for the British, but also an object of ridicule for the whole world, and their big deals with Netflix and Penguin Random House are coming to an end. Now for them, the British royal family, BRFA, is the only way out of the fall into the abyss of unpopularity. That is why Harry puts pressure on the sick Charles, giving interviews to American TV shows. This is one of the elements of a desperate struggle for survival. They would like to achieve something from Charles, but the main problem is that Charles, although ready to forgive them and bring them back, cannot do it. He does not have enough influence to bring the Sussexes back to London, and the return of Meghan and Harry could undermine his already not very successful reign. The only one who can accomplish the family reunion is Prince William, whose approval rating at home is 77%, ahead of the rating of the US president, Carl I.I., and others. William can persuade Catherine to welcome Meghan's return, and he is the only one in the royal family whose approval has enough weight. The problem is that William has already decided on the Sussexes and does not want them back. He tested them for strength in various situations, and they failed all the tests. Trust and loyalty are key factors for William, and he is not ready to keep the Sussexes close. Support from the family and ratings are falling, and he is not ready to give them a new chance. Charles, although appealing to William, is unable to influence his decision. Harry's latest efforts in the interview may lead to something, but William has already made his decision and is preparing for unpopular steps.